some of you folks might remember me from last year. I do. Yes, yes. welcome back. <coughs> Esteemed members of the committee, good afternoon. I'm George DeRoche, as you remember. I still live in disability housing in Warwick. Uh, and you all know why I'm here. In November 2001, if you remember, I worked at a council for sh in a shelter for adolescent males. In an attempt to protect a youth from his own self destructive impulses, I fell down a flight of stairs and severely injured my right knee in the back. During my attempted rehabilitation, I lost over 50 pounds and I survived my family. We were evicted and my ex-wife took the kids and left for our fathers. Fibromyalgia, chronic pain syndrome, eating disorder, exacerbated by a pre-existing condition of Marfan syndrome, continued to deteriorate as I was now living in my car. My physician, Dr. Alan Dennison, suggested medical marijuana as alternative pain management due to the excessive amounts of opiates I can prescribe still. Since that time, I've been faced with the issue of obtaining this method, this medicine. None of you have ever had to face the battle of a gun and attempt to get medication. I have on seven occasions. If I had not been trained in psychology and counseling, I would probably not be here speaking to you today. I certainly hope that no one here should ever have to face such dire circumstances to meet their needs. These are not my only problems. I have also been robbed. Once blatantly, where all my medication, savings, and marijuana were stolen, leaving me almost destitute for two months. And I face clandestine deaths from marijuana and medications missing from time to time because of unsavory people I've had to expose myself to. In addition, in January 2009, after becoming a caregiver myself, my patient's plans were stolen. The Providence Police have been most gracious, although not enough for much to be done. Over a year ago, trying to procure my medicine, I was in the car on the dark street, awaiting a person I barely knew to come to my car with medicine. A number of things ran through my head. What was I doing on the street? Where was this money going? Was I funding terrorism to get my money, medicine? This is a very sobering thought for me. Moments later, the transaction completed. I was on my way. But to this day, these cryptic images will not leave my dreams. Because of my physical condition, I fear for my personal safety and that of anyone who has to take these steps to obtain medicine. And I'm not a small guy, but it takes a lot to get me scared. As a patient who grows his own medicine, it's <coughs> obvious to me that this is a much more difficult process for amateurs than one would think. The value of trained growers and the resource for marijuana that we as patients need cannot be ignored. And I can answer any questions you need to know about the difficulties that you may have growing.